Hey, thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WENY TV News and the Star Gazette. Well, Governor Cuomo and legislative leaders say they've reached an agreement on a budget. The closed door agreement puts Albany on track to pass the third straight on time budget. The deal includes a plan to raise the minimum wage to $9 an hour over three years. The spending plan would increase state spending to about $136 billion, a spending increase of just under 2%. Now the Senate and Assembly must print and pass the bills by next week to beat that April 1st deadline. Well, arguments start today in the town of Dryden hydraulic fracturing ban appeal. Dryden joins 50 other New York municipalities on the drilling ban. More than 100 have enacted moratoriums on drilling activities. Trial level state Supreme Court judges upheld bans that were challenged in the towns of Dryden and also Middlefield. Appeals of those decisions will be argued today in the middle level appellate division. A decision is expected in about six weeks. CVS, one of the nation's largest drugstore chains, will soon require their employees to have a doctor verify their weight, body fat, blood pressure, and other levels, or they face a penalty on their insurance. Well, some are calling it an invasion of privacy. The company is giving its 200,000 workers until May 2014, or they face a $600 annual penalty. Patients' rights advocates are crying foul, while some health professionals say greater focus on employee health is good news but can be done in a better way. It's technology enhanced discrimination on steroids. I think that's a good thing, but do it with incentives rather than penalties. And CVS claims they will never see the test results and the benefits program is to help employees take more responsibility for improving their health. All right, let's talk about Pakistani Phil because he's just, well, a rodent. Good thing we have meteorologist John Hickey here with your forecast, John. Yeah, no trusty, trusty, that silly rodent. Always trust your local meteorologist. Uh, we tend to have a better handle on things than some silly creature. Here's a look at your weather headlines for today. Those cold temperatures continue despite the fact that we officially celebrate the first full day of spring for today. Uh, more snow chances are in the works as well. Nothing all that heavy, maybe up to an inch with some snow showers tonight, but we'll keep an eye on a potential storm coming our way on Monday. Our weather guidance has been showing it kind of wobbling around south of the, of the Pennsylvania border and perhaps throwing some moisture up in our direction on Monday, but that's a ways away, something that we'll be monitoring for you over the weekend. What's more important, of course, is your forecast out there for today. Uh, notice in the morning we're looking pretty good here. This is noontime depicted on future track. We're looking for some sunshine and increased sunshine at that over what we've been seeing recently. But as we work our way into the afternoon and tonight, yes again, we'll be watching some energy rotate around from Canada, swing through and increase our chance for snow showers. You can see that depicted here. This is 10 o'clock tonight and this is when I think we have the best chance of picking up up to an inch of snow locally. But again, those snow bands coming off Ontario and Erie will give some of those folks uh, hefty snowfall totals, but for us, of course, just those minor totals. Now for Friday, continue with the chance for snow showers in the morning, and then see some sunshine develop for the afternoon. Can't rule out some flurries now on Saturday, but still holding Sunday as a completely dry day, both days with temperatures right around 40 degrees. Let's take a look at your interactive sky tracker seven day forecast. Temperatures warming up, so to speak, it's around 40 degrees over the weekend, and then there's that potential storm on Monday. We'll try to iron out those details for you over the weekend. That's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right, thanks, John. For the latest news, weather, and sports, be sure to watch WNY TV News at 5 6 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a great day.